And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second round of the semifinal rounds of Squirrel Squad versus King of Blades. Already starting the draft bans have been going out with Squirrel Squad banning Zagara and King of Blades banning Jaina. This map will be played on Cursed Hollow, another personal favorite of mine. I really enjoy that map, just the objectives and the way it all works out. Yeah. Props to Blizzard for making such a great design. First pick on Squirrel Squad going to Uther. We'll see the second two picks of the game going to be, or the second two picks of the game going to be put onto King of Blades. <coughs> Squirrel Squad is looking like it's a little early to start, but maybe they're going for a gank squad. Maybe. Haven't seen that yet today. Amethyst pick on King of Blades. Okay. I think I mentioned this earlier. He's just one of those characters that when everybody's distracted, he is able to sneak in and grab an objective and there's nobody competing for it. Now, granted, that also has a risk of danger because somebody could sneak in and grab him, kill a slug, but, hey, the risk of playing Avatar. Still a really unique and powerful hero if played properly. Really high skill cap. That's why he says very hard in his description. And the second pick to King of Blades. <coughs> is Kael'thas. Ugh, man, good game so far. I've enjoyed these. It's the kind of game that just you could watch it again and again. And I love how the community, I love you guys. You guys are what make us great. And fortunately enough, you're not terribly toxic, so I can tolerate your existence. And hopefully you could tolerate mine. <coughs> Let's see who we're going to get on Squirrel Squad. Still debating, I guess. Taronda. Here comes the beginnings of a gang squad, I think. It's the kind of map that does and doesn't work with a gang squad because of its size, but there's a lot of places to hide where just constant ganking works real well. And Lee Yorick. Okay. Sure. Why not? Here comes the second ban on King of Blades. Well, hopefully that's better for you guys so you can see it. Second band was Sonya. Third band from Squirrel Squad has been Muradin. Uh, so we're going to see the next two picks on King of Blades. Tyreal. Tyreal. Diablo's undercover black guy. And Sylvanas. Looks like a pretty solid team. I wonder who they're going to build to have Avatar around. I guess it's Tyrael. Huh. Or, may, or they may just say, you know what, we're not going to go with a, a hat Avatar and go pure mine and pure push. There is viability in that for sure. And awaiting the last two picks from Squirrel Squad. Zeratul, the Abathur Hunter. What a great hero. A lot of my friends really enjoy him. They say he's the strongest hero of all time. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but he definitely has a place. Not quite the auto pick he used to be, but definitely still has a place. <coughs> And the final pick is going to be Rainer. Huh. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite hero of all time. He is just 
capable of doing amazing damage, especially against teams that have <coughs> high bruisers. That giant killer, the auto attack, man, he, he demolishes tanks. But there, ladies and gentlemen, is the game for the picks. Who do you think won? I'm going to put my money on Squirrel Squad for this outright draft pick. Not because I think they're better, because they have all my favorite heroes. I have all of those characters except Zeratul at level 10. I enjoy the heck out of them. So we'll get this game going here shortly. Alright, here we go. Let's load it up. Yeah. <sighs> and they had a disconnect from the lobby. Ruh -roh. What is going on here? Um, I beg your pardon, Joe and Gall were not selected in the draft. I hope that's certainly not something they're intending to do. I would hate to have to disqualify a team. But it looks like they're just goofing off. <coughs> the Laffy Taffy skin for Leoric. It looks like we're just waiting for the last people to ready up. There may have been some disconnect issues, so please uh, keep that in mind as we wait for these guys to get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody got any good jokes? I do, but they're really not suitable for television. see what's going on. Well, this game will get started soon. Just hold on to your pants, ladies and gentlemen. We're here again, ready to go. Looks like everybody's ready, so let's get this game started. And because we are polite, though neither of these teams require introduction at this point, in the blue corner, playing for Squirtle Squad is Toronto being played by Tiger JK, Rainer being played by Prismaticism, New York being played by Logos, Zeratul being played by Yoda, and Uther being played by June. In the red corner, Sylvanas being played by Ozikai, Abathur being played by Red Panda Love, Brywing being played by Dark Chimera, Kael'thas being played by Faker Fangirl, and Tyrrell being played by Frozen X. Let's get this going, ladies and gentlemen, on Cursed. Hollow. <coughs> ah.
Alrighty, here we go. <coughs> now, I was under the impression you couldn't throw those across the border. But apparently, you can. <coughs> it landed a striking hit. <coughs> okay, then. squeeze myself into the cough drop so this problem will stop. Zero to Lorena and Toronto all sitting in the bottom lane ready to get that gank. Everybody's worried. Doesn't know where Zeratul may be. The answer is, if you don't see him, he's on to you. Looks like the healer's going to be going out at the top lane. The tank's going out at the middle lane. And the bottom lane looks like the only place the action is going to be. Abathur Hat spots him. There he goes. Oh, KT getting real low. Too bad Zeratul wasn't there to help finish that round off. Already going back to go get some help. And here we see some initial poking on the bottom lane. Not a whole lot going on between it. The Auric Interior duking it out. Yoda waiting in ambush to grab. Nope, no good. <coughs> Missed Lunar Flare by Tyrande is dodged by a big fangirl. Managed to get away just in time and avoid getting nuked up by Rainer. See what's going on in the middle lane. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, just a whole lot of poking. Not much going on. We'll probably see some action here shortly once the uh, first tribute spawning, which should be in the next 30 seconds or so. See Tyrande in position for yet another gank. Not falling for it. So let's take a look at those talents. Ranger's Mark on Tyrande. Pierce as well. Seasoned Marksman, pretty standard. Folks Attack, pretty standard. Animation, Hard Bones on the Oryx. Seasoned Marksman. That's unusual to see on a Zero Tool. Vampiric Strike on him as well. Also kind of unusual. <coughs> I wonder if the meta has changed with his abilities. Venom. Yep, looks like it's going Minather. Alright, we're about to see the first battle for the Tribute, if there will be a battle at all. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they're just going to pass it up to keep on soaking. Yep. There they go. First tribute goes to Squirrel Squad. <coughs> oh, Tyrael getting mighty low. Sylvanas poking against Rainer. Both teams playing pretty passive so far. No kills delivered on anybody's front. Not a whole lot of damage, although a couple close calls. Not much going on. Alright, here comes the second tribute. It looks like they may pass that one up, too. Yeah, they're not going for it. Well, they made liars out of me twice tonight, ladies and gentlemen. 
Nobody is competing for anything. We're just giving it away. Nice Avatar skin. I'm assuming that's the Master skin. You must really like their Avatar. Avatar burrowing bottom. Yeah, not a whole lot going on. Grabbing those uh, seizures from Zeratul. Doing so great at what he does best, being a jungle, being a nuisance. Not a whole lot of gank opportunities. You can see that King of Blades is playing very, very passively. Now the question is, are they going to pass passively pass this up and let Squirtle Squad get yet another tribute? I sincerely doubt that one yet. We're moving into position. Here I go, ladies and gentlemen. Moving against the best Brightling going in. Both teams just poking. No real hard engages. A lot of damage done to Squirrel Squad thus far. But the heals between Uther and Taronda really do help them out in that regard. Rainer getting dangerously low. Massive stun landed out on KT. KT is going to go down. Oh, wow. Escaping with just barely 60 HP. And the York goes down. Long material. Looking really even so far. Oh, there it goes. KT. Rainer just barely escaping. Oh, no. Rainer did go down. <coughs> Both teams have their 10s. Oh, there goes the Entomb, one of my favorite abilities. And no tower support to help you out. Unfortunately, it looks like the curse is going to go too. Squirtle Squad. Shadow Stock. Hyperion. Tomb. Void Prison. Divine Shield. Wailing Arrow. Ultimate Evolution. Blink Heal. Phoenix. And Sanctification. Seeing Sanctification a heck of a lot more these days. There's my favorite hero doing what he does to us, poking. And look at that stutter stepping out of prismaticism. Well done, my friend. You make me proud. Oh, KT getting caught. Or maybe not. Maybe it's Zeratul's getting caught. Nice play, guys. You really backed up your teammate Galloway just in time to avoid the pain. May not be a good place for her. Oh, there goes Battle Trying to get out of the way. Top fort goes down. Bottom fort holding just barely. Middle fort, however, is gone. That's two down with the almost full level lead given to Squirtle Squad. Tyrael got caught out and blown up. Goodbye, Tyrael. No, not a whole lot going else. The pressure's going to be put down on the bottom fort now. Nice shot from KT, doing a little bit of damage on Rainer. Immediately held up by Uther, of course. Let's take a look at these talents. Well, looking pretty standard there. No need for Giant Killer.
Zeratul gets caught out, Polymorph, but does manage to get away. Still unable to get any real success in his ganks. You can see that he's trying. Hard to tell those Abathur mines have really helped out. Uh, King of Blades or not. Alright, here comes the next tribute. This will be number four. You can see the mines going down on Abathur. Looks like they are trying to engage and defend this one. And they're going to give it away because it looks like Squirrel Squad's going to go for a boss. Squirrel Squad secures the bottom boss. KT, what are you doing? KT's getting caught out and it's going to go down. There you go, buddy. Boom. Oh, it's Ultimate Evolution. Silly me. That explains why I'm terrible at Abathur. Oh, here comes the Battle Fight for the Throw Pit. Who's going to walk away from this one? But Among the Sanagate did manage to go to great. King of Blades does manage to get ahead and grab their ones despite a hard push from Squirrel Squad. Squirrel Squad's moving in. Zeratul's going in. Almost gets Brightwing. Void Prism catches both KT and Brightwing. Zylanus is backing off. Will Brightwing be able to get away? Will KT be able to get away? No! KT does go down. Zeratul getting caught out. Oh, the wonderful ice block from Brightwing saves her skin. Just barely escaping in the neck of time. Both bosses are now wailing on each other's bases. Unfortunately, because of that earlier curse, it's not looking good over here for Abathur, who is slapping away as hard as he can against the boss. Blizzard, please include a Slapather, Talent Tree, or Riot. Thank you. So, uh, bottom boss goes down. Top one's going to manage to get this top four. Interesting to note that with the exception of the top four, Squirrel Spot's pretty much unscathed as far as real estate goes. Nothing's really hurt. The walls are all up. Towers got full ammo. And there goes the bottom of the top boss. This match, not nearly as one sided as the previous, very well done on both teams. Alright, see, so we're going to compete for the next tribute. Zeratul getting caught by all those mines. Golly golly. Oh, they gave it up. Alrighty then. Both teams trying to figure out what they could do at this point. There's no objective to take. Might as well clear lanes. Both bosses have roughly two and a half minutes apiece. Camps are about the same. Yeah, not a whole lot anybody can do at this point. Apply some pressure, fight in clear lanes, wait for the next fights to break out. Though it is worthy of noting at this point, Squirrel Squad pretty much has total map domination and is able to roam more or less completely free. Alright, they're going to push that pressure in with the mid lane, going to put the knock down those towers with the Hyperion. Looking good. Hyperion does some damage, knocks out the bottom tower, but none of that, not a whole lot down with it. Poking, poking. That's the name of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Poking. Alright. Second tribute of the day is spawning. King of Blades has to respond to this threat. They don't want their, their team to get another curse. Are they going to get there in time, though? That's the question. Material diving in. Nope, too late. Sorry, buddy. Squirrel Squad's going to go ahead 
can get that. The Entomb goes up by Lurik, Hedgepokes, TKT, and Solanus, KD pops our King Barrier. Lurik is going down, Lurik gets pushed down. There goes Uther, Uther goes down as well, however, that is not looking good at all. For Squirrel Squad, losing two members of Boy Prism, trying some time to escape. KT being caught by the Owl, no, nobody's getting caught. Two out of two for nothing cost, however, that is not good for... Uh, King of Blades at all, because now they have another curse, they may potentially lose even more territory. So despite the fact that that was a significant blow, they still lost the tribute. And the score is currently tied at almost, almost tied at 4-5. Slight level advantage given to. King of Blades. We are getting blown up! Whole lot of poking. Looks like some objectives have started popping back up. Macy will go for their cams. Yeah, you can see that the orcs going into the top. Rainer's going somewhere. Where are you going, Rainer? Running into mines, probably. They're going to go ahead and grab their bridge camp. So that curse did not do a whole lot for. King of Blades, or excuse me, for Squirrel Squad because of that <coughs> engagement where they lost <coughs> Leoric and Uther. Now you can see the teams are going to go for their respective bosses once again. Now the team really wanting to throw their lives away in what might potentially be a huge loss in the throw pit. All the mines. The mines are real, ladies and gentlemen. They are everywhere. <laughs> Just walking into all of them. Level 19 has been picked up by King of Blades. With Squirrel Squad not too far behind. And it's looking like Squirrel Squad's going to say, we're not going to defend, we're going to push this boss. You are the one who has the less real estate. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes one of the last big fights of the game. Both teams are equal skill and level. Hyperion goes down from Rainer. Boss is wailing on that core. Brightwing manages to dodge the Lunar Flare with an Ice Block, still really low. There goes the bottom key. Squirrel Squad better do some significant damage here because they do not manage to pull this victory. Oh, they might! AT gets hit by the stun lead too. Pops with lower ability thanks to Uther. Boy Prism grabs Brightwing. No real help there. Boss goes down. Oh, there goes KT. There goes Tyrael. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. With game two of two going to Squirtle Squad. Congratulations, Squirrel Squad, on a job well done. They will be advancing to the final round. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, because we will be right back, and we are going to get to that game. Stay in your seats. We will return very shortly.